The first speaker today is His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al Fahed. His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al Fahed is the governor of the Technical and Vocational Training Corporation in Saudi Arabia. Previously, he has worked as the Deputy Minister for International Affairs at the Ministry of Labor. He also had, has held many other positions in TPTC and other organizations. Dr. Ahmed holds a PhD in mechanical, mechanical engineering from Old Dominion University. Dr. Ahmed will talk about TPTC's transformation strategy to link TVT with labor market needs. Without further uh, ado, uh, Ahmed, Dr. Ahmed, the floor is, the floor is yours. <coughs> Shukran, Dr. Abdullah. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Dr. Abdullah. Peace be upon you all. Uh, I'm going to speak in Arabic, and the presentation will be in English. So, in order to enrich the discussion and the speech, as mentioned by His Excellency Dr. Abdullah, we are going to speak about the transformation that we are having in TVTC in Saudi Arabia, uh, given that the uh, to be based on the demands, not only what we receive in terms of inputs. Also, I would like to uh, thank the uh, ETEC for their organization of this important conference. We need similar conferences in order to enrich our work. There is transformation in the uh, methods of teaching and learning and the COVID crisis that impacted a lot on our ways of work. So we always need to remind ourselves of these things. As an introduction to the topic, I would like to uh, can I have the next slide? Uh, we're going to speak about why do we speak about the need for transformation it is known that in the recent years there was uh, there were rapid rapid changes in many skills and job uh, and this led to having a great need for the change and transformation in the ways and methods of teaching and training also the uh, fourth industrial revolution and what happened after that revolution in terms of the 5g uh, for communication so we have some skills that we call 5g demands for skills and some skills are known and some other skills need to be rethought of so we have a quick uh, glimpse of the youth we have 1.3 billion uh, global youth population aged between 15 to 24 this is a big number and we uh, it's considered 13.6 percent of them are unemployed and 20% are need, not employed in, or in education or training. So, and also we have some uh, 41 million of people. And we have also, uh, speaking about women, women uh, also uh, need to be in work. We will have a lot of work to be provided and in order to uh, face and tackle these challenges that we are facing. There are three international uh, agencies, the G20, the UNESCO, and the OECD. We, they were speaking about these challenges, and they said that uh, youth today need some uh, set of skills, not only one skill, because the requirements of the work market are now different. Uh, the TVTC will give them these skills. They will keep, equip them with multiple skills, improve their employment perspectives, prospects, and economic contributions. Also, there's another point that, as I mentioned before, there is a lot of dialogue about uh, the different needs of the work market. And we're speaking about the uh, upskilling of the VET. 50% uh, require either uh, upskilling or reskilling, and this is clear. In Saudi Arabia, all praise due to Allah, we have wise leaders who exert a lot of efforts. And as His uh, Royal Majesty said, education is a fundamental pillar by which aspirations of the peoples of our Islamic nation towards progress, prosperity, development, and civilized advancement in knowledge and useful sciences are fulfilled. Also, the Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed Salman, said, We will not rest until our nation is a leader in providing opportunities for all through, uh, through education and training and high quality services, such as employment initiatives, health, housing, and entertainment. 
So this urged us to work hard under this vision of our leaders. For those from outside Saudi Arabia, what are the uh, descriptions of TVET in Saudi Arabia? Uh, it is free uh, for both males and females across all regions in the kingdom. Uh, and it is spread all over the kingdom in all the regions. Saudi Arabia is a big country. Uh, like, and it is in all uh, governed rates. Also, it is diverse in terms of specializations and fields. As for the main pillars of TVTC strategic objectives, we have four main pillars. The first one is the National Orientation uh, Vision 2030. We also have the uh, TVET that has uh, our uh, clear directions related to the big projects that we're having in Saudi Arabia. These are uh, pillars that are considered important for our TVTC work. Also, we have the UNESCO strategy for the TVT sector all over the world. And also we have a lot of evidence that uh, we benefited from. The G20 policies as well. Uh, we have a lot of ads and advertisements for the leaders and the ministerial that talked about how to conform TVTC with the importance and the needs of the work market. Also, the World Economic Forum, which is very important, uh, they mentioned a lot some of these points. So we benefited from all of these four pillars. We launched some strategic initiatives, more than 60 initiatives. Uh, we call them as waves, wave one, wave two, wave three. Some of them are complete. Some of them are under uh, development. Some of them will be uh, happening soon. Uh, out of that, I, I want to mention, because the time is limited, I will only limit myself to speaking about some specific of them. We also uh, had conformity and alignment between our own inputs according to TVTC public st general strategy and also the international uh, benchmarks and the national transformational program of 2020 and other programs Saudi Arabia. So we come up with some of the vision and mission and descriptions of our uh, work. And also we have a lot of changes uh, that we are facing and we need to be as agile, as flexible as possible in order to face the requirements of the work market. And we need a uh, high capability of uh, trainers and experts. We need to have strong relations with and partnership with the labor market. We need quality of the trainees services also because quality is important. And we're now uh, in this house of expertise in terms of quality. Also sustainable financing and spending efficiency. This is very important. Also uh, in one page about our uh, corporation, we have more than 220 colleges and institutions for males and females all over Saudi Arabia. We have 200,000, more than 200,000 trainees in our colleges and uh, institutions. Also, we supervise the private institutions. We have more than 1,000 private uh, institutions all over the world, uh, all over the kingdom. So what happened during the last three years? We uh, had a lot of growth in terms of 2017. We had a number of trainees, 150,000. And then we have more than 236. Now it is more than 241,000 trainees. This is very important. Also the 2030 vision of Saudi Arabia, we have a lot of important things that were happening, not just in quantity, but in quality as well. We also have job opportunities for TVTC graduates. Uh, we are not only working on qu uh, quantity, but also the job opportunities uh, in addition to the expansion of our programs. Uh, according to our uh, agreements, we during COVID-19, we could find more than uh, 19,000 uh, job opportunities, and we will work on providing one job opportunity for all graduates, for every graduate. Uh, so we, we, we want jobs for all of our graduates. Uh, these are some other initiatives like Riyada, Riyada, which is entrepreneurship, uh, which is very important. And in the near future, we will have SMEs uh, aspects of work and because they will contribute to our economic situation. So this is uh, 2019 
statistics about short courses, workshops, lectures. Also, we will continue working on that. Also, Riada uh, partnership with our uh, partners, and we could uh, finance a number of uh, projects with a total funding amount of one billion four thousand, uh, and we have four thousand eighteen eighty nine. Uh, SMEs with a cost of 1 billion Saudi Riyal. Also, some of our programs are flexible training programs because we consider that there is now a huge change in terms of the uh, issues of education training uh, than before in terms of the long time of training and the other things. Now there are different needs. We need to be flexible uh, in order, and it, this flexibility needs to be controlled not uncontrolled. We need it to be effective and contributed to the economy of our country. And these are programs that we are working on now in order to uh, depend on international standards and international benchmarks. We also have strategic partnerships, and these are one of the uh, most successful uh, programs. We have 28 successful partnerships with, in different fields. We have 10 main ones like tourism and hospitality, which is very important, food industry, transportation and logistics services, entertainment, power, electricity, and water industrial services. These are important uh, fields. Also, oil and gas construction. Oil and gas is very important in Saudi Arabia. Also, the sector of uh, mining, communication, and information technology. These are uh, aspects and we have other sectors and we have other strategic partners in order to have greater participation from the private sector uh, these are technical colleges we have 38 technical colleges which is considered the training starting with education not ending with education we don't have training with uh, uh, goals without identifying the needs of the market and the job opportunities then we have a board of director uh, by the private sector, not the education sector. The education sector participates with us in terms of finance and uh, quality assurance and quality control. But also we have other uh, training services because those private sectors are no more about the uh, future uh, requirements and the scale forecasting is very important in order to know what is be going to be needed for every uh, sector. Also another important thing is that we have employment agreement with different stakeholders and partners, like uh, speaking about uh, military services and uh, te telecommunication and others, uh, like oil and gas. Uh, for example, we have Saudi Aramco, which is one of the biggest in the world. We have agreements with them in order to expand these kinds of uh, partnerships. We have also big projects like Niyom, uh, Al Giddiya, other programs. Uh, and with the uh, head of HRDF Human Resources Development Fund as well. My time is over. I will uh, conclude. There are some of the programs, and now I will conclude with uh, this visit that uh, by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to one of our strategic, the Saudi Technical Strategic for Railway. He said, together we will continue building a better country, fulfilling our dream of prosperity and unlocking the talent, potential, and dedication of our young men and women. Thank you for listening and peace be upon you all. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed, for this fruitful presentation. Uh, I like a lot what you spoke about in terms of linking the strategy, the strategy of your Corporation to the 2030 vision of the kingdom so that it will be supporting to the industry the, and SMEs in this field. Also, and this, I have a question about the strategic partnerships. How, how much do they represent in terms of the corporation? Thank you, Your Excellency, Doctor. There is no doubt that I consider this as um, an important direction to uh, go through w with the decision of the Council of Ministers number 17, the National Center for Strategic Partnerships was established and we support this direction and we aim at uh, establishing more and more partnerships. We now have some targets. These targets are built 
on the needs and the vision of the Saudi Arabia, and we uh, could uh, do more than we uh, planned. And I think that every country has its own needs. We don't have one size fit all solutions. We have mega projects and uh, speaking about some other countries, we benefited a lot from some other countries like German countries speaking in German and others, but we do have strengths in some co mega companies like public companies or other uh, private companies. And we found that these kinds of, of partnerships are very helpful and uh, they have strong growth in Saudi Arabia. Also, I'd like to mention that training in these partnerships and these colleges uh, is done through an international service provider. For example, we needed some help in terms of digging uh, technologies. We received some help from other accredited uh, parties internationally, and we supervised their work. Soon we will uh, have more than 40 partnerships. This is a challenge during the crisis, but in, uh, through our cooperation with other partners, we will be able to do our work. We have cooperation with the uh, Human Resources Development Fund, Ministry of Labor, and other agencies and partners from uh, chambers of commerce and others. We will be able to achieve our goals. And we reached 29% uh, 90, of our colleges are international partnerships. We need to uh, reach 40% soon. Thank you, Doctor. I'd like to remind the participants that they can send their questions through the uh, Q&A uh, option. We will have 25 minutes at the end for questions and answers. 